you too what's good what's going on with you it's your girl simba and it's time for another reaction okay today we are first to react to cj the champ i know listen 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 i know y'all been in the chat y'all y'all been in my comments like simba cj drop simba cj he dropped simba C simba listen i know and you know that i know that we know because i got on notifications too so we supposed to react to this so this is beyond scared straight baki edition before we get into it um if you're new here make sure you're subscribing yeah. turning on them notifications yeah also smashing that like button let's get 200k by march let's get it and with that being said let's check out this um hefty video you know what i'm saying my boy put the foot his foot in it for the last video of the year let's get it so dude plays his video on the tv and is this nigga at his house oh my god that's a nigga's wife and kids yo this man is disrespectful huh? and look at his face right now you know he's like you know i'm about to kill wife right yo i didn't know this nigga bush was in the ntr huh nice you just joined what's popping all right ladies and gentlemen not at among us characters we have a crazy very special video because uh you see we're going to jail i beg your pardon <laughs> Actually, not even jail. We going to maximum security prison. Let's get my it. My boy Baki done got locked up. So yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison. Yeah. Goddamn, this place. Simba underscore can drive submarines just donated one dollar. What are you doing? Why are you not here? Join the dark side. Reeks just of saying. Force energy, cause some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But ladies and gentlemen. Please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison as we will observe pure ignorance, nigga like <laughs> and the art of throwing hands on this Good special Lord. programming of Beyond Scared Straight, Jesus. W donation on God. All right, y'all. So before we get into the prison, we got to understand uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place. I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he going to end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference. Going oh, on because the African OK. All right. I'm like, why does Baki look so familiar? I remember exactly who he is now. I remember. I remember. I think his daddy was a menace, a menace to society who needed to be stopped and beat the shit out of his okay okay all right all right all right i'm remembering i'm remembering army I'm remember. the ginormous oversized african elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah and this guy right here is the sole survivor so these reporters are wondering okay bro you're the sole survivor so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing and this nigga's like shit it wasn't us it was a nigga that killed that shit <laughs> a man in all black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare and at this point you could just guess who did this shit good lord go hold up this nah this shot right here is crazy this shot right here is crazy this who's why is his ass this okay Appear and kill that fat Subs. Subs. be baller be baller be baller 10 gifted yeah damn nick 10 gifted you've gifted 14 total subs today i appreciate you my boy w mittens in the in chat hey listen chat say thank you be baller for some yes sirs and some thank you be ballers in the month in chat you said touch the butt i i hey it's it's it a new a year that killed that shit a man and it's a new year, child. What we? What we doing? I'm sorry, bro. It had to be done, bro. Double cheeked up on a Saturday afternoon. You know, hella ass. Like, look at this thing. Look at this booty right here, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. I, I had it had to be done. It had to be done, bro. All black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare hands. Bare at this hands point, you is crazy. Just guess who did this shit? Bro, I don't know what this like, man look at it, bro. is at this point. Now he's out here killing oversized African elephants and then he ate the nigga. 
Skin and dead ass just ate a whole ass year's worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I stated the facts. I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was Good in this Lord. situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like if I saw a Be nigga bubba, kill an African elephant bitch. Yo, with what his you, what you got going on, my G? What the f*** am I supposed to tell you? Thank Man, you. I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You would look at me like... This nigga <laughs> Shit, I believe anything. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied, and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at all. Like, right, Jesus those is grown Christ. ass they men. Like they at least pushing 33. So then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank, it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, <laughs> please. Please, you're not the strongest guy. So they like, oh, you looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids like, I right, bro. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big hey, boy said, they'll bring the baller. strongest high schooler in the world Thank you to again, you. bro. don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. So they go to the river, Good and Lord. there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the knife, and Baki like, so you going to use that small ass knife? I right, bet. I ain't holding back then. This man is is dead serious ready to run the ones with a child and ain't no way like, oh my god this nigga's dead serious this nigga's dead serious I ain't, ain't no fucking way so then baki asks him can you swim and he's like uh a little then baki's like bet so bro flash steps and smacks the living <laughs> Christ. oh my god he imprinted his hand on his ass oh! ain't no way and bro ain't skip on water Nah, this nigga is a de This nigga is a demon. Hello? He's like seven. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. He might be. He might. He might. He might be living up to his father's expectations. Jesus. Water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid, but then Yujiro's personal chauffeur, Stridum, comes out of nowhere. So then he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are gonna go at it for round two. Hopefully you don't go like round one. <laughs> So Stratum's like, all right, how you gonna respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stratum's <laughs> like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's <laughs> like, all right, bro, I gotta find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson. What the fuck? Freak out of Yo, what the fuck? In the Casper is going what on the right fuck? now. Bro is fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson and, and getting his ass damage. beat. Oh, nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? This man starts fighting a, a fucking prey mantis? mantis. What in the fuck? He's fighting mantis from Kung Fu Panda. What in the? F you, 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 I, I, I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So now we cut to America. Hold and on. They got this parade. Did this nigga just fight up? You said, yeah, Baki caught a uh, prey mantis and imagined it to be the size of a man so you can practice running fades with it. Because realistically, if insects were human size, they'd be OP. You're not wrong. That is actually a very true statement. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. If I seen a, a, a centipede the size of me, get me off this earth. Get me off this earth. I don't want to live on the same planet as that. I'm already, uh, listen, centipedes be like this fucking big and I'm already like, hell no. Nah. A centipod, uh, a centipod, a centipede the size of fucking me? Take me out the game, bro. Take me out the fucking game, bro. Cause I, I don't want to do this no more, dog. I don't want to do it no more, dog. I don't want to, bro. Mm -mm. Going on and we got President Bosch? But, George no, Bosch. this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Because this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Like, 
What? Secret service, y'all niggas ass. How the fuck you could basically let a damn child take the, snatch the president? A fucking Shit, president. won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn secret oh, service. Oh, hell no. Maki ends up having tea with this nigga in Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the US of A, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asked what is Baki's demands and this man Baki says, the US Arizona State Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. What? Is this nigga serious? What? And Bush like, wait, 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 you kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches? He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. <laughs> Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. I'm going to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty. And he gets incarcerated into the Ain't Arizona no way. State Prison. You get, in, you get put in a prison to fight someone? Like what? So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga biscuit, Mr. Unchained. And the reason this Good man Lord. is called Unchained is because he can leave the prison whenever the hell he. Ain't no way. What in the fuck is this? What in the fuck is this? Good God, uh, yo, this nigga's abs got abs. This nigga's biceps got biceps. This nigga's fucking, this nigga's triceps got triceps. His shoulders have three shoulders. This nigga's neck got biceps. This is ridiculous. This nigga, hey, yo, you know what he's built like? He's built like buff CJ from San Andreas. Buff CJ from San Andreas on oh, God is called unchained is because good he Lord can leave the prison whenever the hell he want to. So basically this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga Ain't is no getting way. in prison. I mean, look at this big mother. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. How you how you catch a, a, a free lick on this nigga? And he's smiling with his nose indented like these. <laughs> like, yeah, you punched me, bro, but that's not. Go back to your cell and fight these niggas like I said, bro. It's nothing. That's nothing. You just boot me on my nose, bro. That's not a that's not wasn't even a punch. Like, bro, like what? In the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate and it's Iron Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So I can <laughs> ask Mike, hey, yo, I know you gotta be number two, nigga, you Mike Tyson. But this man, Mike says, nah, I ain't even in the top 10. Good Lord. God damn. Wait a damn minute. So, uh, this nigga, Mike Tyson, ain't even in the top 10. Yo, what type of monsters? Fucking fiends. No, you got bro. locked up in this bitch. Nigga, what the fuck is this? Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? On oh, God. Face? Killer Croc? Nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. Oh, so God. they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7-7. Seven, seven. And Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, hey, yo, second, wake the up. So Check this out. nigga comes out the casket huh? like Vincent Valentine. And I'm like, hey yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, did this nigga just come out the locker? No, no, no. Did he sleep in the locker? Oh nah, this man different. So then Baki the asks him, hey yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Why ain't no way, boy? Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. What? This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. <laughs> I, I like you. And I want you. I can do this the easy way. Or we can do this the hard way. 
The choice is yours. I'm a wire too. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way the this shit is, is actually happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. I'm a warrior. Because booty is more important than oh, water. Oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So while they're lining them up and explaining <laughs> the rules of the prison, this man, Guevara, is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole cig while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Because Guevara would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So oh, he my God. So he just and just took the beating from the CO. Oh, my God. Nah, gosh, that's bro. crazy. That so fucked. So, yeah, Guevara, a.k.a. the second coming of the booty warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big <laughs> MF tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. He, he grabs the officer's gun. Puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks dude in his balls. Oh, my God. And, and that nigga's decommissioned. So after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match and, bro, this man can't even pick him up. So then he grabs a piece of his hair, sticks it in his ear, and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude fell over and it was wraps. So after Guevara leaves, the officer comes over. What the fuck did I just watch? What the fuck did I just like, Huh? Huh? His hair sticks it in his ear and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude fell over and it was wraps. So after Guevara leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy and he's like, hey, yo, uh, why you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back of the head. God damn it. He says, yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So yo, nah, what is going on in this prison, dog? This print nigga said nigga let the dude walked out and then said, what are you doing in here alone? And then shoots him. I gave him a warning. What in the fuck is going? What is nah? this prison? What is going on, bro? I, I, bro. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from Shit Talking University? Boy, got the Shit Talk, Shit Talk, no me. So Baki gets put in solitary huh. confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Dislocated shoulder what the here. fuck? Ooh, what kind of. Nah, 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 nah. What kind of medicine shit is this, bro? Position. Jesus Christ. They locked this nigga's thumbs? What the fuck? Yo, what is going on, bro? Somebody explain to me. Ain't no way you just out here locking. Nah, this is crazy. You out here locking niggas thumbs like that? He's only 16? Bro, this is cr Nah, this is crazy. This is crazy. They, You see the way they locked his fucking thumbs? Nah, I would cry. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this would make me. If jail was like this, I, I I could put my hands behind my back. But you telling me you locking me up by my thumbs like this? Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna cry like a fuck. Bro, what? What is it? What is this? What is this? Feel his dislocated shoulder from here. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory. And apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn secret what? service. You've done it again. So dude plays this video on the TV. And is this nigga at his house? Oh my God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful. Oh my shit. God. Look at his face right now. You know, he's like, you know, I'm about to your wife right yo i didn't know this nigga bush was in the ntr but hey yo for real though this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history besides well you know you know what scene i'm talking about but we ain't talking about that shit here today that shit is forbidden yeah this man <laughs> beat the f out of his entire security
security force and took a whole tour of his house. Uh uh, bro. That 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 that's one of the most. Nah, that's crazy. So later on, the warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So he gets these triplet looking niggas called the mouth. One's named the lip, the tooth, and the tongue. What in what the hell the is fuck? this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas in unison and shit? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. So they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. So then they put Mike in the corner and gee, Jesus Christ. God damn. Damn. Then they stomped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And nah, the synchronizing jumping is crazy. Jumping is usually chaotic as hell. Nobody knows where nobody's punching. But the fact that they were so sick, like, look at how synchronized they are with the punches. They start jumping this nigga. In Bang. They all punch. They all beat this nigga as one hit. Unison. Boom. Two hit. All Ain't no way. Never this seen is a crazy. Jump a nigga so precisely. So then they put Mike in the corner and gee, Jesus. Yo. Christ. Nah, this is. God damn. Then they stomped him out. Oh my gosh, bro. This might be the most brutal jumping in anime history. And that man is gone, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Gavara comes out of nowhere, rolling out like Samus in morph ball form. So three what the fuck? his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. Oh! Yo, this nigga really just whipped out his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker, like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. Stomp him in the nuts. <laughs> stomp him in the nuts, nuts. Stomp him in the nuts. Stomp him in the nuts. I'm a stomp. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? This is the most chaotic shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type shit. Oh my like, God. God. Damn. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to Ain't earth. Ain't no way, wait. Hold on. Oh, that what? nigga <laughs> dead, bro. Send Why is he up here? <laughs> Why is he up here, bro? Do you see him up here? What the fuck? Yo, nah, this is crazy, bro. Man. <laughs> Oh God, he saw man's get fucking the shit beat out of him turned into Spider-Man. Oh my God. And his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants and got the step in the heel. <laughs> yeah, this nigga pissed his pants. And then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later on, back at the cell wall. Oh my God. Up, this big nigga biscuit Bust up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Gavar, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit So then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man, Gavar, spits on that shit. Oh, bro. <laughs> disrespectful so before the fight we get to see what biscuits girl looks like well just some shadows of her and we don't get to see much but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him she threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga golly wrong, yo. yo this man biscuit is a savage but yo this man is down bad horrendous now it's a day of the fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this the said number one and smoke. number two are about to throw down so then Biscuit's coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like, hey, yo, no way. This could actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all thinking, all right, y'all, she got to be fine as hell. She got to be the baddest chick we've Ooh. probably ever seen. Well, uh... Ain't no goddamn, my mind must be deceiving me right now. Ain't no way this 
my 600 pound life rotisserie ass chicken. Oh my god, nigga, the bitch. Is Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking. Ain't no fucking. I beg your pardon. I like them big. I like them chunky. Chunky. Mm -mm. I like them chunky. Chunky. You know, y'all know that song? Hey, you know? Hey. On God, this man done set black people back about 30 years. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga done said he done said this. Not only, not only, uh, bro. This looks like a facts. This looks like a, a big rotisserie chicken. Not even cooked. This looks like a unbased, unseasoned turkey, freshly defrosted, not even cooked yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's talk. What are you doing? It's the bed. This gotta be the biggest. What the actual fuck moment I, I've Bruh. ever seen in an anime. Hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp. But hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? Oh my god, <laughs> not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and is still standing. Ain't there. no fuck. Nah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Nigga's suit is still st even the shoes. Nah. Find that mound not of the shows luga no let me stop myself let me stop myself so how this fight is gonna work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses this low-key is the weirdest way to throw down but fuck it, i'm all here for it so kavar socks him but yo this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky and his Thumb. This might be the craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Gavar continues to tee off on Biscuit, but then he grabs his oh, yeah. head and slaps that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man uses the bed on top of the bed. So they just lose the handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far, he cracks into the wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Damn! God at that nigga like damn. a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there, and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And oh my God, of course Yujiro's so like, fucking there. Minute. Something's wrong. And all that shit that just played out, was a dream because that nigga got knocked the yeah. out. Nigga, shit is as straight as a board. And everybody's like, damn, he really just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes off. He has been cut away from the prison for a bit. The prison. Nigga said he picked, yo, what the fuck? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, that shit is crazy. Nigga was stiff as a. Bro, nigga was like in the ground like these. What the fuck? Good lord, bro. That no, nah, that's crazy. That's cra Yo, and then the, the 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 thing that killed me, this nigga said. So he picks up his mattress and was <laughs> like, damn. He really just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes <laughs> off. So as we cut away from the prison for a bit, the president yo. is driving. But yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this nigga dead ass made the president his butler. So after the fight, oh the my second time the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. The 
But Maki said, fuck it. So I got that nigga. And dude is staging a whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And what? all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint. Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So we tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog, that is embarrassing. He has six niggas holding him up. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Nigga just kicked everybody ass, escaped. <laughs> He did it to piss off Oliver? Bruh, nah, this nigga's a demon. I can't, I no cap. At gunpoint, it made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. <laughs> Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. Again. So while he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him. Then he whips out his shit and pisses on him. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, what is up with niggas pissing on niggas? Pause! That might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. He took a whole leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at his ass. He like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit wow. comes back to Wasel. He's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. So Baki's like, nah. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. Dude, he kicks dude in his face. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the fuck out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. God then he busts out the tuxedo. He's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel. Then Good lord. Five other cells. Then dog is just beating the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and is just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll across Yo, the floor. Yo, this is but then crazy. You see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn demon back. And oh that's my god, this nigga back ass got like fucking real nice. So he ended up flipping back him abs. over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some what the type fuck? Shit. so then he spits him out and then tries to do it again but baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose what the f what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck yo what is happening what is ha it's so I can't. I, I, I don't. I don't even know. <sighs> and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose, and Bro is having the nosebleed of a lifetime. So then they face off, and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch, over, Lee. And over and over again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga drops. Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Her old fee fa fo ass. So Biscuit picks up his mattress and leaves the battlefield. <laughs> and our boy picks Baki up his mattress. is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki be unchained. And now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickles! Huh?
Yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big announcement real quick. So, uh, your boy made a second channel. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. But anyways, though, God bless y'all. And I'm out this one. That was a lot, I ain't gonna lie, that was a lot to take in. That whole video was nuts. He so said, keep in mind, all of this is Baki's training. All of that was nuts, bro. All of that was fucking nuts. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. Man, W video though, that shit's, listen, W video though, you know what I'm saying? Shout out CJ the champ. Nigga out here making bangers. W video to end off the year. You know what I'm saying? I'm reacting to it in 2020. I ain't react to CJ the champ since last year. You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, no, let me stop. That's fucking corny. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, if you're new here, make sure you're subscribing, turning on them notifications. Also, smashing that like button. Let's get 200K by March. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's do it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all.